Hi hey guys, uh, today I bring you Fairy Way for an EK and I give it a requirement of level 550 plus. Obviously it's going to be quite hard around level 550 but uh, I thought it was manageable so let's, let's take a look. Here are my results from the few hunts that I did. Um, as you can see the experience is somewhere around 4.5kk raw. Um, I was getting about 4.6kk raw but that was with a damage prey on Vex Claw so it's about 4.5kk raw on you know without praise uh, which is about 6.8kk on 150% and as you can see from the profits it's uh, more or less around 1.3 to 1.4 1.5kk per hour in profit. Uh, which is damn good, right? Obviously, it's damn good, uh, so definitely worth uh, coming by if you have all the best in slot equipment, because you will need that uh, to hunt here at this level. Uh, difficulty, I give it a 9 out of 10. This is mostly due to the health layers. You really need to be careful. Uh, you cannot box here. You will mostly be sort of doing 5, 6 boxes and sort of kiting as you're killing the monsters. Uh, so make sure to look in the video how I do that, uh, because if you aid box here, you will probably have a free trip to the temple. So don't aid box because these monsters are a little bit too difficult to aid box at this level. Uh, with regards to beast Jerry, it'll take about 10 hours for demon vex claws and 12 hours for grime leeches. Uh, though I would encourage you to already have these uh, beast Jerry's completed before coming here and apply charms, uh, because it is going to be really difficult without charms at this level. If you're level 700, 800, you can you can get the beast Jerry here. So, uh, requirements, level 550+, plus, as I already mentioned, uh, if you don't have best in slot, if you don't have charms, probably a bit higher, you know, maybe 650, uh, but I was here around level 580 and it was, it was fine, I didn't really feel like I was in massive danger, and because we're not boxing, you can always run away, right, if you have 6 monsters on you and suddenly you start running out of health, you just run away and whatever, you're fine, right, you're not really in that much danger of dying. Anyway, there's no access quest required, you will need an ice weapon, uh, bring your dwarven rings because there's a lot of uh, drunkness here from the grime leeches, and this place can effectively be hunted by pretty much every combination. Uh, for druids and sorcerers solo, I, I don't know, I think it is doable, but it will be much higher level, I'm talking sort of 1k plus, uh, at that point maybe you can hunt here solo as a mage, uh, but... Your mileage may vary. I don't. I don't really know. I haven't played high level mage to be able to tell. Um, for paladins, I think this place is huntable from like level seven, eight hundred or so. Uh, for EKs, as you can see, you know, five fifty to six hundred, and you're already starting to get pretty good profit. Not quite as high as the paladin would, but still pretty damn good. Uh, recommended imbuements are all standard. Uh, plus, fire death imbuement is very helpful here, but. If you look at the input analyzer, it's actually only 18% of your uh, damage type, uh, of your the damage you take. So if you reduce that by 15%, you get like 2.7% overall damage decrease, which is not nothing, but it's not like, you know, game breaking. So if you um, if you don't have a fire imbuement, uh, you're probably, probably going to be okay. Uh, and similarly, the defense prey would be helpful, but also I, don't, I didn't find it necessary. If you're going to apply it or anything, probably Vex Claws, as you can see they do 32% of the damage here. Uh, Grime Leeches are also fine. Uh, hell, even on Hell Players it would be good because Hell Players do a lot of damage. So yeah, prioritize Physical Protection, followed by Fire Protection. Um, yeah, and Life Drain at 12%, but nothing really you can wear for that because you're going to be wearing the Fire Trinket um, and you're not really going to be using a Gallic Necklace either, so you can't really mitigate that Life Drain in any way. Uh, looking at supplies, uh, about 2.6k strong manas per hour and about 250 supreme health potions per hour. Uh, with regards to charms, I've got a little screenshot of how I had it here. So I had Divine Wrath on Vex, Close Zap on Health Layer, Freeze on Demon and Wound on Grime Leech. Um, I thought this was the best way to do it. The only other thing maybe I would consider doing is putting Dodge uh, on one of them. Uh, probably Dodge on Grime Leech or on the Health Layer. Uh, but otherwise, I think, yeah, otherwise I think it's, this is how I would set it up. With regards to the wheel, because we're not boxing and we're mostly sort of, you know, killing four, five, six monsters at a time, I uh, spec into the combat mastery wheel to, you know, get that uh, Xori min, Xori ground bonuses. Uh, you're not really going to be using Xori master very much here. And the character you will see in the video is level 5, 81 eco, 128 axe skill of loyalty, and damage prey on Vexclaw. 
Now let's take a quick look at the route. So as we enter here, I do basically sort of something like this. Uh, something like this here. And then I turn back and I do a loop somewhere like here, all the way back to the entrance. So that's that's how I do it. Um, obviously, you know, I, I try, I don't have any specific pull spots. I uh, just kind of grab five monsters and kill them. As I'm down to like three monsters, I start moving towards the next ones, pick up three more, etc. And I just do a little loop like that. Uh, more than enough uh, respawn for you at this level. Um, and it avoids some of the Vex claws down into the southwest uh, and avoids too much backtracking as well because obviously this section here this is where you backtrack a lot as a high level paladin so we don't need to do it on an ek because we don't kill quite fast enough here yet uh so that's what i have for you uh i'm just gonna now do a quick shout out to my youtube members after this and then i will play you the video so uh thanks very much for watching i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye